On the third day of Christmas, Team Skeptic gave to me three police rides, two stupid moors, and an idiot under the tree. So let's begin. Read my rights. Give him his rights. Why is he getting arrested in the food court? Hey, sir, why am I getting arrested? No, no. Passing, you guys just served me food. Okay, so everybody, start filming this. I'm getting arrested because I don't have my vaccine. Arrested in a food court for. I can't eat, so I'm sitting here eating. There are feeding more people than ever. If everybody thinks this is right, raise your hand. Do you think this is right? I'm getting arrested to eat. We got arrested because we don't have a vaccine. Before you guys start yelling at me about vaccines in the comments, keep in mind, these guys are lying right now. If he was getting arrested because he was unvaccinated, then they'd be arresting the dickweed holding the camera too for being unvaccinated as well. No here we are. Here We're I not am. doing anything other than standing here eating our food. And now they've arrested him because he's not leaving the building. And I, don't, I don't want my food wasted. Welcome to Canada, home of the free. Home of the Are you coming as well, sir? I'm coming. Yeah, he's my brother. Oh, they're related. I wouldn't be surprised if their mom and dad are too. I don't think you guys stand for that. You guys are security guards. Just stand for what's right. What's stand for what's right, man. For real. You guys, I can't believe you're doing this. This is unreal. Unreal. I can't believe it. I can't wait to see you guys in court. For sure. He didn't read him his rights, didn't do anything. No rights whatsoever. But in handcuffs. Do I really need to be the one to point out that these guys are security and not police officers? They don't need to read you your rights. And even if they did, it wouldn't make a difference in court. You guys need a bigger fuss than I do. We're just trying to eat our food. Can you guys see that thing? Is that a law? Did we break the law? What law did we break? Can I eat here now? So my food doesn't go to waste? Yeah. What law did he break? I'm not going to go anywhere. You just, just uncuff me real quick. I'm, I'm not... Oh, I just dropped my pot. Here, just let me eat my supper. Or my lunch. Please. You're in handcuffs. You can't eat. Yeah, no, no. I'm asking you to just take the handcuffs off. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to do anything. I got to finish your lunch. You guys arrested me without reading my rights. Without reading his rights. For no reason. Zero. All I was trying to do was eat. We weren't trespassing though. You don't get to tell the security personnel on private property that you're not trespassing. If they ask you to leave, and they did, and you refuse to do so, like you did, then by definition, you're trespassing. I thought you'd sit down and eat my supper. Totally true. Can I just eat, please? Well, it's nice and warm. There's actually really good butter chicken. Right? Well, you can't. There's no lid on it. Someone might cough on it. You might eat the... Omnicron. Omnicron. <laughs> that makes it scary. Come on, please, guys. You just ask me to come on. Should I eat like a dog? Because that's what I am. I would. <laughs> Hey, Jeff, take it out. Oh. I got a video of it, don't worry. Here. I hope. Is it good? Oh, I'm great. Yep, you're a dog. Your mom's a bulldog. Your dad's a shih tzu. And you and your brother are full blooded bullshits. That was way better. Come on, guys. <gasps> Arrested for sitting outside the food court. On the floor, which is not illegal. It's not illegal to sit on a floor in a mall. Hold on. But here I am, I'm sitting down on the floor and I'm eating mine and I'm not getting arrested. Exactly. Which goes to show you that all these excuses that you're making up for your brother being a piece of shit aren't the actual reason that he's getting trespassed. The real reason that he's getting trespassed and you aren't is because he made a scene when asked to wear a mask or leave. He chose not to leave, so he's getting trespassed. They just want to be normal people like we used to once be in Canada. 
Do you know two years ago or 18 months ago, we would have been called conspiracy theorists if we would have told you this was going to happen to us? As unvaccinated members of society, we're, we're, we're lesser than everybody now. We are like, do you, do you remember the Jews back in the day of Hitler? Like, do you guys remember history? Because I remember history and this is getting Probably. pretty close. What a dumbass. First, this is nothing like the persecution of Jews during World War II. Anti-maskers aren't being led into gas chambers because they choose to be team-killing fucktards. Second, do I really need to point out that you don't look much more than 50 years old? So that puts you at being born late 60s, early 70s, at the latest. World War II ended in 1945, so it is temporally impossible for you to remember anything about World War II. So you, the security guards, they're going to be the ones that are asked to like enforce the laws just like you are now. It's not even a law, it's not even a rule. It's an it's a HS recommended guideline. I don't know. Just want to eat my lunch. Yeah. Oh, there's a wall of fame up there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's coming right now? I don't know. Yes, the police are the ones coming to get you. Issue you the trespass ticket and take your dumb ass to jail. Is garlic mm -hmm. There's homemade. Sick. Homemade? Mm -hmm. Sweet. You watch them fluff the dough. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you need a second? You need to take your teeth off? Mm -hmm. Breathe a little bit. Yeah. This is kind of crazy, eh? No. Yeah, I can't do it. You're gonna have to do it for me. Wow, he actually drinks Dr. Pepper. As an ambassador to Team Dr. Pepper, I will inform you that we're trading this guy to Team Pepsi for a broken washing machine and their remaining supply of Pepsi Mango. Now enough with the fluff. Let's get to the fuzz. Oh. Yeah, how's it going? Oh. It's going, man. Okay, so... I am recording, just so you know. That's okay. So yeah. why are you here? Well, because I tried to eat my lunch. Can I step inside the food court there? Yeah. And this gentleman asked me to move, but I wasn't breaking any law. Well, it sounds and like if you don't have a mask, you're breaking the public health order. But it's not a law. Well, it well, is. is. It's actually. Is there a fine for not wearing a mask? I was actually eating just like everybody else was. With no mask. With no mask on. It's pretty hard to eat without a mask on. Like I said, this isn't about vaccines. This is about an anti-masker on private property who refused to wear a mask as required and then refused to leave when told to do so. Textbook trespassing, and that's exactly what Santa's going to give him for Christmas this year. Well, that's not what I was told. You're not eating and you have your mask on. Well, then they're lying to you, sir. It's all on camera. I sat down to eat, right? So I, got, I sat down to eat. This gentleman asked me to move. I wasn't... In the food court, obviously. I was outside the food court. They told me I was impeding everybody's way. That's the thing. If you want to eat, you told me. The food court. And then I can eat wherever. There is no law saying that you can't eat no anywhere in the mall. The that has to be the dumbest argument yet. Of course, there's no legislation saying that it's against the law to eat your food outside of the food court. But if it's against the mall's policies, then you either need to eat your food inside the food court or leave. And if you don't leave when asked to do so, well, that is breaking the law. Is there? Oh, let me is, with the... No, 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 officer, <laughs> officer. Let me, let me clarify the situation because I wasn't here, so I'm trying to understand right. what happened. But we're going to tell you our side of the story. This yeah. is, this is what and then means. there's two of us, and I was there too. I actually have a mass medical exemption. 
you can check it out. I'll show you it. I got the documentation on my phone okay. of a mass medical exemption. So I was sitting there. I sat down beside him. We met in the food court. They wouldn't let him through the thing. So we sat down beside the, the food court. Mm -hmm. There's actually no law stating that you cannot eat there. So you cannot sit there. You cannot eat. Well, we're sitting. We're sitting this because we don't away. have a vaccination. Why yeah. would you see that? Because the... we don't. We don't agree with the two tier society. And what are you even talking about? Almost every aspect of our society is tiered. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Tiered. You got to be this tall to ride the roller coaster. Tiered. Tax brackets. Tiered. The American education system is grades K through 12. What the fuck do you think K through 12 stands for? Tears. But I will say this. These two guys are top tier jackasses. We don't have a vaccination, so they wouldn't let us into the food court. So we sat outside the food court and ate. Which, well, it's a private business here, right? So if you don't want to come... They to served me their food. food. They served me food. I sat down to eat. I was not breaking rules outside of the food court. And when you're a patron to the food court, to the people here, you're allowed to eat your meal. Oh, really? Well, what law states that, good sir? I mean, only moments ago you were asking the officer to cite the law that requires you to eat the food in the food court. Well, now it's your turn. Cite the law that states that if you're a patron of the food court, then you must be allowed to eat your meal. We'll wait. So I did, and and so we were sitting, we were sitting, giving everybody space. Being a sound, all of a sudden, five security officers sat and stood in front of me, stopping everybody from walking, saying I, I was impeded. Only three here. I know there yes, was five. The, two, the other two left. The other two, one sitting in the office. Right, there, just the other one just sit there a few, a few minutes. So then, so then we moved even further away. Because they asked us to move, so we moved yep. further away. Yep. And then you sat down again, and then they then they got uh, all like, here, let's do it. And put their gloves on, and then... Ready? We're going to take them. And then they didn't give me my rights, so and they just detained me so for no reason. you're on private property here, they want to have your mask on. They want you to have your mask on, you're going to put your mask on, regardless if you like it or not. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to leave the property. Well, you guys heard it. It wasn't about vaccines or vaccine passports. It wasn't about eating his food outside of the food court. It was about him refusing to wear a mask and then him refusing to leave when told to do so. Uh, can you get my pop there, Jeff? Yeah, sure. They, they legally put them on. Okay, for now, they never ruined right? yeah, okay. They just detain you for no reason. All right, I'll be done. All I wanted to do is eat my meal and have We got arrested for for not having a vaccine and sitting outside the food court. Huh? Yeah, you sit. For now, we'll keep them on, okay? But I'm not going to do it. Just sit there for now. Yes, this is where our story ends. Bye, have a great time. Well, that's the end of day three's video. If you like it, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you disliked it, comment below, and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you'll be notified of tomorrow's day four video where I take on my first Flat Earth video in over a year. What's holding together the ball? For all you NASA fans, what exactly is holding the ball together? If there is no gravity. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.